Fred Stanford. I've been in the industry for about uh, 38 years. Uh, the first 28 or so I was with uh, Inco Limited up in Sudbury. It started in IT and then um, moved into operations roles three or four years in and uh, retired from there as the president of the operations up in Sudbury and then eventually got uh, talked into taking on this role as CEO of Torex Gold Resources, which I've been doing for about the last 10 years. So I've been passionate about the industry really since I started in operations, which was about 35 years ago. So now the world has changed from governments give you permits, um, which you still need, but communities give you permission. And getting permission is not, it's not as defined as the principles of laws, the laws of chemistry, physics, and biology. It's, uh, it's a very different art form to earn the trust of a community so that they know that you're going to um, both make their lives better, but not make their lives worse. So personally, I bring 35 plus years experience, a great deal of curiosity, um, you know, on both the social side, the technical side, and to a lesser degree on the commercial side. Um, if I was to focus on one thing in the plenary, if, if I was speaking to other innovators, it would be to understand the process, the, the production process. It has processes that transform, it has processes that transport, and it has processes that store. And in there will be a bottleneck process. And I have seen all manner of innovators come forward with ideas on how to get more throughput through a particular process and that process is not the bottleneck so investing in getting more throughput through a non-process non-bottleneck process just means your material sits in inventory longer and it's those sorts of experiences that frustrate operators where there was some promise and then they did what was asked and they didn't actually get a more efficient process. Uh, the total process, was, process wasn't more efficient. So that would be my key thing, would be a focus on understanding step by step by step how the rock flows through the process to understand where the bottleneck is and focus on that. I'm really, really looking forward to going. Um, there's a sharing of ideas. Um, for those that are innovators, it can be a tough world. So getting to talk to other people and how they've conquered issues and move forward is a wonderful thing. Um, also the opportunity to talk about the social side of the business and meet with people that are, are having success with this undefined business of trying to get a social license to operate. Um, how we do that and how we can generate the trust and, and the, the respect of the communities to let us in. This is a wonderful opportunity to discuss those things when a whole bunch of people get together and everybody that comes is committed to the industry, so it's a wonderful place to be. Well, to all, I'm looking forward to seeing you in Montreal from between April 28th and May 1st. It should be fun.